Today on Toy Shiz, John Leguizamo returns. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, very excited. We're checking out their brand new clown from the new Spawn Universe toy line. A super articulated clown action figure with... A set of giant guns, very reminiscent of Clown 2 for back in the day. Did you have the red variant? Eh, I actually don't have this one, so I shouldn't be talking. 14 and up, not a toy. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Gorgeous box art on these. Just like all the other ones we've looked at so far on the back side, you get a nice look at the clown figure with all his Looney Tunes gun attachments, right? That's immediately what comes to mind for me. Picture of the clown, and then of course the famous Spawn logo on the other side. Here's the barcode as well. Now keep in mind, these will be hitting stores in and around, I would say August, September, hopefully without a hitch. You know how things go, the way of the world, yada yada, but in and around that time. And as I previously said, with all my other Spawn figure reviews thus far, yeah, I'm going to pull out some old clowns. We're going to see how they compare. But those are the old stuff, and now we're looking at new stuff. So it's a completely different animal. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, clowny cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Spawn Universe, the clown figure from McFarland Toys. And, of course, here's Clown and his giant guns out of the packaging. This is one of those oddball figures right to have a giant deluxe figure that for the clown you'd think okay single release but then they put well they're saying twenty dollars extra worth of accessories in the box is it worth it let's check it out he is more complete in the sense of of all the figures we've looked at he actually comes with a set of extra hands so he's got hands for all the different weapons yes he actually has two different weapons. It comes with a barber's blade right here. Nice paint on the silver. Nice design. Of course, it's got skulls on it. Everything has to have skulls. I just wish that the paint carried off all over into the other part of the blade, the part that sticks up. And it would have been so cool if it actually closed, right? That would have been top notch. Just, ah, that. see, that's like an old school McFarlane thing. Also comes with a knife as well, similar to the switchblade. Nice silver, it has skulls on it, so yeah, works. And then these giant turret guns of destruction that are hooked on to his back. He's got rockets, missile launchers, miniguns. He's got a little control right here that fits into the palm of his hand. The weathering on it is nice. The paint on it is nice. I'll give it to him in the sense of as it looks attached to the clown, it looks awesome. I, I really do like it. Is it functional? No, not really. If you're planning on like superposing the clown and everything else with these on his back. No, these. this is a heavy, hefty figure right here with everything attached. The clown is still heavy by himself. The pack is still heavy combined. Boom. Yeah, you're getting a really heavy McFarlane figure, which is not a bad thing. However... <laughs> As I said, he's just, he's a brick of a figure. You get the Spawn logo stand. You can go ahead and pull this little control wand out of his hand and you pop this off of his back. And yeah, it's almost like a figure in and of itself. To be honest, I would have loved to just had the clown by himself with a bunch of hands, weapons, doing his gross thing. This thing is cool though. And like I said, when you have it attached to his back, I mean, everything rotates on it it's got these big arms turret guns everything else it looks good when it's attached it's a bit clunky though to be quite honest with you sometimes i feel like you have him displayed and then give it like a day or so and you're gonna start to see droopage as time goes on we'll see what happens but just go easy with some of the arms right here some of them are a little bit stiff they're on ratcheted joints these are on like a ball joint which will go see that's what i mean in terms of droopage i really feel like over time as he's displayed you'll start to see everything kind of just fall a little bit you do get some articulation here in this cord this is a nice stringy stretchy cord right here for the control thing that the clown can hold the one bummer i will say is that you can see the you know the hole on his back he doesn't have anything to cover that. That would have been cool if he had like a 
little pagan, something like that. The clown himself is a more modern type clown, like around Spawn 300, around that time. He's very cool looking. I really like the way that they did this. This is a cool looking clown figure. I love the face on him, his teeth, his wild, manic, crazy look in his eyes. He's got the blue paint every which way. He's got really craggy, cracky skin, right? It's really gross underneath, but it comes out in the sculpt. It's cool. I like his little hair, his red eyes, everything. So they did a great job with the face, and you do get some decent articulation out of his big, fat head. It's kind of cool. I definitely dig it. The clown is just one of those sadistic, like, I, why do you like this character? I don't know. But John Leguizamo played a part in doing that. The bandolier thing, the bullets is part of his jacket, so it's not something that you can remove if you like, but the paint on it is really nice. And I love the shirt, because the shirt is very Spawn movie as well. You kind of lose some of the detail that's there, right? You get t tears and rips and everything else, which is minimalistic paint. Could have used a little bit more paint here and there. You get to see his belt underneath his butt right there. <laughs> Clown is disgusting. And then you get the arm hair. Now, in some of the press photos, it's like black, but I think when it meets the hands, even though you can swap out the hands, it doesn't flush right. It kind of just stops, so it looks awkward. It's almost like a two-tone kind of thing where maybe he got a bad suntan. You know what I mean? He had his jacket down on one of those days. His legs are interesting. His waist is interesting. He's just a big old bubble with legs basically it's kind of cool he does have little rips and tears every which way just some extra paint really would have brought that out it's kind of like old ninja turtles where they didn't get to it you know what i mean the legs are interesting although you need a lot of gappage to him he does have single jointed knees so it's again some of the press photos it kind of looked like he wasn't going to have articulation in the legs but i like the way they did it it's a little flush with the figure yeah you can see the little pinholes on the side but it looks good he's got some nice ball rotation feet he stands well he's got toe articulation he's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet and with the backpack and everything you really need like a sturdy clown figure he does hold his weapons quite nicely i like the different hand selections he even comes with a fisted hand just just that extra little bit of hands really helps and bring in a character life. Unless you give a little bit more displayability options with him. Interesting articulation in the hands. It's it's okay, it works, he swivels, but then it kind of looks in certain aspects like he has like a broken wrist. I It's fine for what it is, but it's kind of weird in that sense when you go to pose him. He will swivel at the elbow and he also has single jointed elbows with some butterfly joints. So again, a highly articulated clown figure. I really like this guy. When you look at old McFarlane Toys figures, this is my favorite of the bunch. This is the clown that I love to display. It's the Pizza Spawn Clown 4. You can see the difference. Again, this is more of a modern take on clown, how he appears in the comics. But that old school look for clown, oof, that's a good looking clown. Still pair him up with Jason Wynn, you know? <laughs> Just bugging him all day. With, let's say, Violator 3, I think these go together quite nicely. You can see that, eh, scale-wise, they'd be cool. Pair them up with Marvel Legends Angela. If you're wondering about Marvel Legends scale, sure, why not, if you want to put them together. I think that this really benefits for people that wanted a villain for their Kickstarter spawn or their MK11 spawn. I think that he fits in really nicely with these two characters. He's at the right height. He's got... Almost that same stylistic look to him. So in either case, yeah, I think either the Kickstarter one, the MK11 one, you'll go real nicely with your spawns. Make a deal with Malbolgia. Please send me to Earth, yada, yada. I'll take down spawn for you. The nice thing about it is because of the extra hands, then you get to use other weapons, other weapons that may come from other lines. Whatever's in your little drawer of weapons, right? We all have one of those, accessories and whatnot. So you can really call him Commando Clown on this one. And I think that's a good name for this guy. With the big old weapons, everything else, the bandolier with all the bullets, all that kind of stuff. He's definitely a Commando Clown. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toy Spawn Universe. The brand new clown figure. I'll tell you this. The elevated price point. It's a great looking figure. I think that putting this giant contraption in there 
is kind of like uh, unnecessary. I would have liked to have just seen Clown by himself. However, I will tell you, you get him in the right positions and everything else, it's a very massive presence on your shelf. So it does look good. I'm worried about droopage later. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be totally just secure. It's like most toys though. But these, because they're so heavy, I don't know how long they'll stay up. We will see though, as time will tell. I love the extra hands, I love the weapons, the paint on him is great. It's a very fun figure, but you have to decide, is it worth the extra pretty penny to get this big old money gun backpack thing? So that's gonna be your decision, but I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Spawn Universe, and thank you again to McFarland Toys for sending this out to give you guys a fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but always remember, I'm not the vindicator or the victimizer or the vaporizer or the vibrator. I am the Vindicator.